A big lesson for me as a singer and as a voice teacher is you don't need more exercises. You don't need more exercises to sing higher. You just need to do the exercises right. It's so easy to spend years working on countless exercises, doing all these very funny sounds and not see any tangible results because what ends up happening is we dance around the very problem that we're trying to fix and we don't seek to go deeper with our technique. And so when it comes to singing high notes, I really just wanna offer a very simplified approach today or a very simple concept, which is all we need to do if we wanna sing higher is I need to get my chords to stretch and they stay together. That's all we need to do. And I've actually got a lesson here with one of my more advanced students. And this is exactly what we do here. We basically strip away all the things he's done, everything he's kind of known about singing. And we just focus on that core mechanism, getting the voice to stretch and getting them to stay together. And then I simply ask him, how does that feel for him? Because the better we can get in tune with the stretching, the easier those high notes will be. And then in the second half of the session, I then show him how to add more pressure or more connection into the sound to get some of those more epic higher notes. The reason why I'm sharing behind the scenes of a more advanced lesson here is to show you that, you know, regardless of where you are on your journey of learning how to sing, when you're running into that same problem, you know, the high notes feel a bit harder. When you're having this kind of recurring challenge, instead of doing more exercises, scaring for all these different tips and hacks, going a bit deeper with your technique can be a great strategy as well. Real quick, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Ivan. I'm a voice teacher who works with students from all around the world. And really on this channel, my goal is to make learning how to sing as simple and as easy as possible, because it can be confusing, it can be challenging. And so if that is up your lane, consider subscribing. And if you want to improve your voice further, you know, through private lessons or you know, singing programs, check out some the links down in the description. Okay, let's dive in. So there's two parts of vocal technique. The first one is what's happening within the within the larynx, right? The ability for the vocal folds to stretch, the ability for the vocal folds to come together, right? I think that is usually a bit more important. What you're talking about here is that there's just some external tension, something around the the Adam's apple that's messing around with it. That's the second part of the equation. But I think usually what happens though is the cleaner you can get the first part where it's like you allow the chord to stretch, they come together properly, which is why we do tiny voice, the balloons, well, it's, it's training this function. Right, right. That is gonna yield better gains for you. Okay. And then you can tackle all like the coloring and all that uh, okay. afterwards. Right. So come back to this mum for me, simple mum. Good. Nice, now your goal here is just keep the mum the same. If right. you make it a bit more forward, if you do like a bit more dark, whatever, don't change it. So don't go mum, 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 mum. Don't, don't change that on me, right? And, and then we'll, we'll explain why we do that. Vowel, like, vowel yeah, don't, don't change right. the vowel, don't change, right. don't change the pressure as well, not yeah. louder or stronger. <laughs> yeah, okay, so this is revealing. Try it again. Notice that top note is a bit flat. Mm -hmm. So what this reveals like is within the vocal fold, uh, within the voice box, the, there's your vocal folds, right? There's two functions that need to happen to make a sound. Mum, 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 mum. First of all, they come together. Otherwise, I would have gone mum, 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 mum. I wouldn't right. made, I wouldn't have made a sound, right? Sure. They came to come together. Yeah. The second part is a stretch to make a sound, right? They stretch yeah. to make pitch. So the more they stretch, the easier it is to get to the high notes. What we want to do here for your first step of your training is build just a tiny bit, or a bit more awareness of the actual stretching mm -hmm. and the actual stretching without anything changing. Cause you, you can get the vocal folds to stretch, but you can only get them to stretch at the moment when you push a bit more air, yes. when you press a bit harder, when yeah. you maybe add a bit of tongue tension. And so the more we can come back down to, and this is, this is what I'm reworking myself. So okay. what we're here to rework is all else equal. Don't change pressure. Don't change vowel. Don't change tongue shape. Don't change anything. Can I purely just isolate the stretch? Because when you can get so familiar with that, then all of a sudden, when you bring it back to your normal singing, everything just works better. Mm. Make sense? Sure. Yeah. So let's see if we can isolate this together. Try it again here. Mm. 
Cool. So it's it's a bit flat here. Yeah. And this is your mid range. See what you can do. Don't add more pressure. Don't necessarily add more. Uh, don't change the valve. See if you can do something else to get it to that pitch. That something else would be the stretch. Yeah, I noticed like my larynx wants to. It yeah. wants to oh. raise for the pitch rather than. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah. All good. Mm -hmm. Try again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Now, what what can help here to encourage a bit more the stretching? Um, add a tiny bit more like cryo sob, mum, 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 a tiny bit of that. See if that can kind of get you to click in. Yeah, mum, mum, mum. It's it's um. There's a bit more hollowness or darkness in. Oh, it's yeah, more yeah. Like, uh, darkness to it. Okay. A mm -hmm. darkness, yeah, yeah. Mum, 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 mum. Boom. Okay. Cool, cool. Do that again. You're right on pitch now for that top note. See if you can notice, is, is it like a shift? Is it like a stretching feeling you notice? Yeah, don't let go of the pressure though. That, that disconnects yeah. a bit. Uh, uh, keep it a bit stronger because it's kind of flipping on the top. Yeah, keep it a bit stronger. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Mom, mom, Keep a stronger M. It's close. That, that's closer. Try it again. Yeah, that one. Nice, that's nice. I'll come back down. I just want to get a really good rap for you. Cool. So that's a really solid rap. It, there's decent core closure. It's not going louder on the higher note. The valve's not changing because you're keeping it artificially dark. Mm -hmm. So do that a few times and notice what is that movement that's allowing me to navigate pitch because that is the stretching of the vocal folds. Right. We're trying to isolate that. Right. You, are, you are doing it. Yeah, it's it's like it's just shaky. a little bit. It's 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 unfamiliar territory. Mom, yeah. Mom, 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 mom. Yes. Yeah. What mom, happens on the top? It's like I, I have to like <laughs> that is yeah, that's your stretch. What are you doing there? <clears throat> I feel like I'm I'm like going towards something. It's interesting. Is there is it like almost like a shifting up and forward for you? Yeah. Good, 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 good. So that is you, you, you definitely do this, right? When you sing your high notes, that's how you get to the high notes. But uh, I think now we're just making it so clear for you, that is the mechanism of stretching the voice. When it kind of tilts up into the head, people call it you know, laryngeal tilt, uh, people call it the stretch, activating a CT, whatever you call it, right? It's that thing, that's how you navigate pitch, mm. which means you shouldn't be going, mum, 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 mum. Like you, you shouldn't, when you go into the high note, you're, if you're trying to add more volume to get there, you're using the wrong function, mm -hmm. right? So let's do. Let's keep going now. Now that you know what you're kind of looking for, as yep. you go up higher, you just need more and more of that tilt. Less so, more volume. Less so, changing the vowel. More stretch. Good, 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 good. Beautiful. So this is good. What we're doing here is we're trying to isolate the stretch function. Yes, yes. Now, how would you describe that? Like, do you have a way to articulate? You said you're, you're kind of moving towards something. How do you describe it now? Yeah, yeah. It, it was like the first... So the first three feels like they just kind of roll off the tongue. I'm so used yep. to doing them in a sense, but the last one, it's like a jump. There's like this jump. shift. So, so 
That one. That's like I have to rethink where it's placed. Rethink where it's placed. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. It does. Um, so there's a shift rethink where it's placed. Would you say it's higher than where it, it's compared to the lower notes? Okay, that's the one. It's going upwards. Yeah, there's a shift upwards. There is, it's like, it's kind of like th going. Yeah, if, if it's a visual thing, right? It's going into my palate here yeah, and going like through my nose that way up. But nice. the other ones are going more straight out. Mum, mum, mum. They're more like, like, kind of like, like if this is the angle here. So yeah. it's mum, 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 like that. Yeah. Nice. 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 That makes sense. That makes a lot. I mean, like, like this is like a tip. At what is it? This is uh, textbook one hundred and one mixed voice. <laughs> you know, that, oh, okay. that's what we call mixed voice, <laughs> or or like in classical singing, they call it head resonance. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, so, so for you though, is this, is this a new sensation? Is this something you've experienced before? This is new. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Cause normally they all kind of go out the same place or, or it wants to bury. Uh, so the, the last one kind of wants to go backwards rather like what I did before with the eight four. Yep. So, yeah, yeah, that kind of voice. Oh, interesting. They interesting. Yeah. Like, blah, 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 see. It would be like that mm. step. Yeah, I get you what you mean. I get you what you mean. Which one feels easier? Yeah, I mean it's it's easier as a relative term to it feels more relaxed. Ah, uh, yes. But it's not easy as in I have to think about it now. I have to think good. because otherwise, think. like the core closure doesn't work. Uh, yeah, thinking so, is good. So when we're doing an <laughs> exercise like the last one, I have to really think. Okay, well, how do I get there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No. Th th thinking is good. Thinking is good. Why don't, why don't we do this? So now, uh, keep it dopey. Um, let's try add a bit of weight now. A bit stronger. So instead of going, mum, 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 just a bit more full like you used to. You got it. Yep. Yeah. You got it. Yes. Focus on that dopiness. Beautiful. A bit more stretch here. Beautiful. Nice. Yep. <clears throat> nice. And then as you come down, you're doing it well. Just start asking yourself, what are you noticing? Yeah. I am really thinking. <laughs> nice. So that one had good weight, good stretch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt that. Felt that it was very free. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, be, be a bit more uh, reckless here, lean a bit more. Yeah, nice. Nice. Good, that's a good way. Cool. Okay. 
Uh, any any observations, my friend? Mm. It's it's a new sensation. I have to really. Uh, I don't. I don't know how to put it into words, but it's a new sensation. It's 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 like there's more space. Um, oh, higher space, notes, yeah. especially, I can really feel it. The lower notes, I'm kind of used to. Like I'm used to singing in that register, which is one I want to kind of build more up the higher registers. Yeah. Uh, so it feels like like when I close my eyes and I hit the like got to those higher notes, it was like there was like this opening. Oh, opening. Yeah, yeah. And let me write that down. Does that make sense? Like, like, kind of like uh, there was room for that that little note to come. Through. It was a tiny little note. It's still like there was room for it. Well, the before it was kind of like constricted. It was like, eh. <laughs> mm, gotcha. Keep playing around with it because you've got a lot of different cues at the moment, which is fine. Um, we want to eventually, like, first of all, make them auto like choose the right one because you know sometimes you might be like, oh, I noticed this, but it's actually got nothing to do with the actual sound yeah. or the actual technique. Um, but I, I do hear what you come. I think the opening is a lot of the throat staying relaxed, which is great. Yep. And then um, personally, I feel like that shifting or the sound going into that pocket is more the actual stretching mechanism. But you do need both. You honestly do need both. Um, and so, okay, cool. Now, the other observation here is notice on the way down, I asked you to be a bit more reckless, mm -hmm. add a bit more weight, but you still were able to stretch, mm -hmm. right? So that comes basically goes to show that, you know, when you're adding a belt into a song, what gives it that beltiness is its weight and eventually the vowel shape as well. Like, because right now we've got a very dopey kind of sound. It's very hard to like get a beltier quality, but the sound should almost always go there because if, if the pitch is an A4, the vocal for vocal forts have to stretch to a certain place. Um, and so when you're doing this work over this next week, I'll say like, right. They, the vocal forts have to like, it's an A4. doesn't matter what vowel it is. It's still got to stretch the same way. Right. I mean, that's what you're trying to say. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, you, you won't, won't always have to stretch the exact same amount, but like, you know, I think a lot of singers will go the complete opposite, which is to get to the high note, not only do they not stretch, but they just press more. And that's what we call pushing. Team, that is a wrap. If you found value out of this episode, make sure to hit that like button and also drop in your thoughts down into the comments. It is always cool to hear from you and also let me know what you want me to talk about next. Apart from that, my name is Ivan. I'm your voice teacher. I'll see you every single Thursday and Friday on weekly tutorials. And if you're interested in working with me further, check out some links down in the description. Take care team.